Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Los Alamitos Quarter Horse here on Friday. It is October the 28th, 2016. I'm going to look at races 1, 2, and 8. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections from racetracks around the world. Uh, so let's get on to it. Starting off with uh, race 1, like I said, I'll be looking at races 1, 2, and 8. Number uh, Race 1 is a claiming race, purse $11,500 for 3 year olds and upwards. Number 1, a race at 4 furlongs, weird condition. Um, Three-year-olds will carry 120 pounds. Older will carry 123 pounds. Uh, non was race since uh, August 28th. Allowed three pounds. Claim price $5,000. We have a field of seven horses traveling the distance of ground of 800 meters or four furlongs. Four furlongs. Started the pick fourth. The best bet in racing, as they call it. I picked a different, but, um, you know, and, um, uh, my top selection here, we'll go to the three horse, AQ, AQ, something like that, and if, uh, I said it right, hopefully I did, uh, gonna go three, one, two, five, three, one, two, five, number three, AQ, uh, two to one, Vinny Bednar on this one, um, last time out, running at Los Al, thoroughbred daytime program, five and a half furlongs, time of the 16th, and claiming 10, horse finished fourth by four lengths, he stalked the pace that day, and really, uh, just, it, he just didn't keep up with them. They ran too, you know, good for him. He's dropping down in class today to the claiming five, and he's facing, basically, he's dropping down like three classes than he faced the last time out low south during the, the uh, thoroughbred pro portion of the uh, card. Um, but start before August the 7th, low south, 870, allowance race for 13,000. Horse won by two and three quarter lengths, on the lead all throughout, 80 cents a dollar, had an easy victory. Um, and then San Anita, five and a half rungs, June 26th, and claiming 16 nine was three lifetime. Horse been fourth by seven lengths. He stalked the pace early on, and then was a little bit wide, really couldn't keep up with him. Um, I think this horse should have a very good run here today. You know, if you, you know, his 870 races, which are basically four, four furlong races, were very good. Um, you know, he ran at a, the start before August 7th, his last four furlong or 870 race before that was June 19th, 870, lounge race 10,000, finished third by three quarters line, closed up that day, but he, he has some speed, I think he could uh, go here to win, so to recap my bets for race number one from Los Alamitos, going to go with the three horse, going to go three one two five three one two five. now to the second race from Los Alamitos. Second race as I make sure my cat is not uh, chewing wires. I'm sorry about that. I have a month-old kitten now that likes chewing wires. So if the sound keeps going during this, it's probably because my cat bit the wire. Race two. Let me go through the conditions first. It's claim race first. Eleven thousand dollars for three-year-olds and upwards. Number one. Two races. Uh, field of eight horses. Like I said, I think eight hundred seventy yards of traveling. My top selection in this one will go to the three horse, number three, Sriracha Cat. It's a thoroughbred horse here. Going to go three, eight, four, two, three, eight, four, two. Number three, Sriracha Cat. Two to one, Christian Aragon on this one. Last time out, coming in from Pleasanton, Oak Tree at Pleasanton, October the 1st, and I'm at a five phone claiming 4,000. Horse uh, finished third by five and a half lengths. He was with the leaders early on that day and just gave away. It wasn't the horse's best runs. I think this horse should really do well with this drop in class here today. Start before August 13th at San, Santa Rosa, five and a half furlongs and uh, claiming 1250. This horse uh, finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths. Set the lead, the pace early on and then just really started to weak, you know, weaken. Um, you know, at Los Alamitos, uh, the final half furlong, when you see the horses start to weaken, that's something you do not want to see. And he did that at Santa Rosa. You know, it just wasn't his horse kind of uh, best of starts. And then this horse broke his maiden at uh, Sacramento Cal Expo, July the 22nd, maiden 1250. Horse won by four and a quarter lengths on the lead all throughout. Easy victory. You know, it, it was a nice victory. I think his speed fits Los Alamitos here today. He should have a good run in his uh, Los Al debut. So, going to recap my bets now for race number two from Los Alamitos. Going to go with the three horse. Going to go three, eight, four, two. Three eight four two. Now we're going to head on to the final race on tonight's program, the eighth race, which is the Bobby Angel Overnight Handicap. It's handicap here, going for a purse fifteen thousand dollars for two year olds. Field of eight horses traveling the distance of ground of three hundred and fifty yards. Three fifty. And my top selection in this one will go to the eight horse, number eight, 
Elicity. Gonna go eight four seven one eight four seven one number eight Elicity four to one. Um, last time out, why not Riadoso? It's time of the fifth, four forty in the All American Juvenile. Horse finished eighth by uh, eight and three quarter lengths that day. You know he was basically uh, far behind all throughout. Didn't have the uh, the best beginnings. Really, I think he was facing a, a bit too uh, much quality horses that day. Start before it rode Riadoso four forty in the trial for the uh, All American Futurity. His horse finished second by three quarters length. You know, just a bit up, and she was with the leaders early on, but then the cavalry came. He just held on for second, um, and then a maturity trial uh, at Rodoso 400 on July the 8th. Horse finished uh, second by neck. You know, he, he was closing up very well. It was far back early on, but closed up very well. Um, he's just he's dropping down here in class today. You know, I, I think he should do well. He, plus, he has his, he started here at Los Al twice back in the early or uh, late spring uh, on June the 5th. His last Los Al victory or his only victory ever was in the trial for 4,000. He one by one half lengths. I'm the lead all throughout. You know, he's just the best horse that they finished the trial in 1777 for 350. I think he should have a good run here at four to one. So to recap my bets for race number eight from Los Alamitos, gonna go with the eight horse Elicity. Gonna go eight four seven one eight four seven one. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck everybody.